Yo, what's up, guys? So let's get into it. Major JJK spoilers. So JJK is ending very soon, and with that, Gege has finally brought back Nobara in the latest chapter. And I was like, meh. I started JJK about a year ago now, and after hearing all the hype, I can honestly say that the series is okay. It certainly won't have the cultural impact that Dragon Ball or the Big Three had. I find myself reading it, and then once I caught up, I would forget about it for a month or two, and then remember and catch up. I still can't remember majority of characters' names, which is rare for me, because I'm usually pretty good at that. I mean, I know characters by their ability, but pretty much outside of Yuji, Megumi, Nobara, Gojo, Yuto, Todo, Kenjaku, and Sukuna, the names just don't stick. Even the more interesting characters, or the most interesting characters, like Lawyer Guy or Comedian Guy, I just can't remember the names. And that's one of my issues, is that everyone is cooler and more interesting than the main character, and that's not supposed to happen. Itadori became a side character in his own damn series, which was frustrating because I like him. I think Gege seems to rely on shock value by killing off more interesting characters before really letting them shine, and usually overcomplicated curse technique abilities. Like that's his thing, like let me make this ability as complicated as possible. Or maybe I'm just dumb, but I often find myself thinking, what the fuck are they talking about? When he goes into explaining how a technique works, it's like he really wants to show people how complicated he can make character techniques, but I'm just like, dude, keep it simple. And of course, not every single character's technique is like this, obviously. And then I think about people that have been following JJK since 2018, meaning that Megumi has been in a dark emotional hole for years, and Nobara has been out of the picture for even longer. Was there a chance she would come back? Yes, we always knew that, but the fact is that for years, Gege did nothing with her. Not even a mention of her. It's almost like he forgot and now that the series is coming to an end, he has to rush to put her back in. People online are getting Bleach vibes from this ending situation due to how Kubo was forced into rushing Bleach's ending. And while I can see that in some sense, on the other hand, Gege really did this to himself. If he's being rushed, well, that's what he gets for basically loitering with his characters. Like, he had years to implement these characters a bit better and everything, but he just chose not to. He could have set himself up to be in a better position years ago by utilizing his characters properly but now he has to rush everything. I think it's pretty unlikely that we'll get a satisfying Heian flashback or a satisfying answer as to why Kenjaku set up everything to eventually get with Yuji's dad to create Yuji as a vessel. I suspect we'll never get any development on so many lingering characters. Hell, he had to lock up Gojo for, mar for a majority of the series only to bring him back, kill him, and then have Yuto take over his body. I mean, what the fuck? And I don't even like Gojo. I think the faults of the series will likely go unnoticed by anime-only watchers, especially for JJK, because the anime has the ability to mask story problems through cool animation, fights, and music, which tends to reduce a certain part of the anime-watching population into clapping seals because it looks cool. That's the beauty of anime versus reading the manga. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it. This little quick video. I don't know. I don't think these thoughts are particularly super well thought out, but this is just sort of my kind of feeling about that situation and the manga in general. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next video.